got starstruck, but I barely kept it together when I met Charlie Pride the night he accepted the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. He's the best-selling artist on RCA Records since Elvis Presley, and his new CD is called Music in My Heart. Right now, he's singing one of his biggest and one of my favorites, Kiss an Angel Good Morning, Charlie Pride. <laughs> We met at the Grammy uh, Salute to Music Legend ceremony yeah. where you were being honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award after yeah. 50 years yes. in the music business. And I'm only 20. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you're only 22. But, I mean, 50 years in the business, 50 years really as the only man of color that I can remember yep. singing country music. Right. And to get that award, what was that groove like? Well, I tell you, first of all, it's good to be and see you. I want to, I got to say something about, it. well, I'll, I'll tell you, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get, my, I, uh, it's, it's, I've had so many, and it's just another one that I was so proud to get and pleased, and, 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 uh, but I think it's, I, they get them mixed up. This one is the prettiest of the three Grammys I have and all this. <laughs> and I, I, this kind of, yeah. this kind of does the trick. Well, you, you were one of 11 Sunny. children. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I watch y'all all the time. I'm just, I'm, 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 see, y'all got me nervous. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't you. usually get nervous, but don't go ahead. Nervous. I can't believe Charlie Pride knows who I am. So thank you. Um, <laughs> well, he didn't say he knew who you are. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, you grew up one of 11 children yeah. from a sharecropping family. And beating the odds, you became a professional baseball player. Right. How did you make that happen? First of all, once once you get past 18, I mean, from 18 to 25, you're not in the majors. See, they didn't have but 16 clubs in the majors at that time. So uh, if you didn't get in by the time you were 25, they just so. You, you sing the national anthem, or you'd entertain the crowd sometimes with a few songs. But mm. in 1966, you signed a record contract with RCA Records. Yes. What was it like to be the first black country artist? Now, now, before I answer that, let me ask you, I told my wife I'm not good, I wasn't going to get, so I'm long-winded, so I'm going to have to condense this down. Yeah, okay. Um, but <laughs> you just mentioned about of color. Right. When I first started in this business, um, one reporter said, well, Charlie, how does it feel to be the Jackie Robinson of country music? I said, Charlie, how does it feel to be the uh, first colored country singer? I said, Charlie, how does it feel to be the first... Negro country singer. Charlie, how does it feel to be the first Afro-American country singer? Well, hold on, hold on. I said, I feel the same way I did when I was colored. <laughs> we got to go, Charlie. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, watch. Y'all have to watch the great performances presents Grammy Salute to Music Legends 2017 on PBS. Check your local listing times. And never forget, Charlie Pride is the, is the thing.